Ditch the Recipes is coming up. Join the waitlist at lunchladylou.com.au forward slash ditch the recipes. This is my 2022 year in review and my five biggest food lessons. Lesson number one, the real MVP goes to my slow cooker. <laughs> Insert the big round of applause here. So the thing that I've been doing all year, slow cooker meat water figure it out later and so what i mean by this is cook a huge chunk of meat like lamb a whole chicken whatever it is meat and water it takes five minutes to get it ready if that and then i figure out the flavor later but i could have a kilo or two kilos of meat cooked i can portion some out and freeze it i can do many things um, but the meat portion of my meal is done. And I also have an amazing broth to go with as well. So that's tip number one. Lesson number two is using amazing condiments to make my meals taste so delicious without me needing to always put the effort in. So this might be a really cool mayonnaise and like an awesome pesto, just good quality stuff. I have a green curry paste that I use a lot. I also have like an Indian style curry paste, just things that have the flavor in there. And then for the curry, curry paste goes in. I always add extra onion, garlic, coconut milk. I can take my slow cooked meat, put it in that, rice, mash, whatever it is. It just makes it so much simpler. And then I don't need to worry about all the mechanics of the meal, which I love to do anyway, and I love to teach that stuff, the pressure is off. That's what I'm trying to say. So for me, quality comes first, and then price doesn't matter as much. Obviously, you know, in this day and age, everything's going up even more, but I will happily pay for the quality if it takes pressure off me. And this might be one night a week or one night a fortnight that we're forking up this extra ingredient that's more expensive, but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Lesson number three, and this is a doozy just in the last month or so, but if my pantry and fridge are not stocked correctly, I've got the meat in there, I've got the oil in there, I've got whatever it is. If that's not done right, I feel stressed. I feel uninspired to cook. I feel blur and just like, I don't really wanna do this, even though I'm a kitchen coach. So I realized this, it's been building, but especially in the last week where I didn't have enough meat. I was just so uninspired about making dinner and I couldn't figure out why. And then I realized, oh my gosh, it's because you don't have any meat in the fridge. You can't, you don't have the basic things to make it work. Which brings me to lesson number four. I fell even more in love with my veggie delivery box, Ubi. So Ubi, they're Sydney based, Sydney, Australia, and they deliver, well, they work with local farms in the area and then they deliver to people like me and homes around Sydney uh, weekly and they just deliver the best of what's available. So you can go in there and pick and choose your veggies, but I just do set and forget and that works better for me. When I remember, I'll add other grocery items because they have that, but then I know that it's done. So what I'd love from this is a meat option. And I've just found one, it's called Our Cow, O-U-R, Our, and then Cow. Um, and you can order it fortnightly, monthly, six weekly, and it's just on a subscription base. And I love this model. I know lots of people like to get in there and pick and choose, and I still do that sometimes, and I have options to do that throughout my week. But as a, a busy woman, a working woman and also a stay-at-home mum and I also don't really live near shops it's half an hour each way for me to get anywhere kind of decent it takes half an hour for me to get anywhere kind of decent and that's just one way these delivery options the fact that they deliver to me is amazing but I rely on them so heavily and if you're busy I suggest you look this up and just um, one thing that goes hand in hand with this is having the skills to back it up. So you can use whatever veggies are delivered because you know what to do with them. And you can still get your favorites. Everyone loves potato, everyone loves carrot, everyone loves tomato, but you're gonna be working seasonally, which means the food will taste fresher. At, well, it doesn't taste, well, yeah, it does taste fresher, but it will taste more delicious. <laughs> you're also supporting local farmers as well. So there's so many benefits for me. Oh, and another thing, 
it'll last longer in your fridge. It'll last, yeah. Supermarket veggies do not last long at all compared to farm fresh, obviously. So that's been a big one for me is I've just fallen in love with this uh, ability to automate that part of my life and um, I'm getting the best quality that I can delivered to my door every week and I don't have to do anything except enter my credit card details which I did in 2013 <laughs> so it's been going very well lesson number five the final lesson well I've learned so many more than this but the final big lesson that I've learned in 2022 is that things change and so what I mean by this is when everything happened in 2020 I had to get used to my husband being home all the time for work and cooking his three meals in addition to mine and my son's and then also our snacks. And even though we're all eating the same thing, I'm a big believer in everyone in the family eats the same thing or more so I'm only cooking one meal. So we're eating the same thing, but even just getting my, hat, my head around cooking an extra portion and how that works rather than a portion for, you know, two portions for dinner and then one for me for leftovers or however it worked for lunch it's just different and now he's transitioned back to work um getting my head around that that i need to cook less now so it's this thing of everything changes and it's been a big process for me to get around that it really shouldn't be but i automate everything as i just told you in the last thing so even my recipes are so automated in my head and my basic um kind of cooking matrixes that I work of are so automated in my head that when I change them up, even just um, now getting back in the habit of making, you know, when we clean up dinner, putting lunch in a container for him the next day to take to work and then remembering, reminding him to take it has been a big, big thing for us. So we often, if he forgets, we have just this one extra meal in the fridge, which then goes into the freezer and making that work so it's this idea that things change and it's to be okay with that because i could get really you know oh there's extra food in the fridge and you know this obviously it's not like a huge issue but when you're managing you're managing the grocery spend you're managing the budget you're managing food waste as well it becomes a big thing from that point of view so making sure that we're eating those meals and that they're it's working for us and there's turn, turnover in the fridge. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say things change and be okay with it. So maybe you're going into a new year and your schedule is changing. Maybe um, you're going to be cooking more. Maybe you're adding in school lunches or something like that. And it might feel tricky and hard for the first little bit, but being okay that things change. That's the lesson here. So this is my 2022 in review and the five biggest food lessons that I learned. Ditch the recipes is coming up. Join the waitlist at lunchladylou.com.au forward slash ditch the recipes.